types of movies. And you could see any type of violence you want. You could see cowboy violence. You could see uh, ancient Roman violence. You could see horror, is this, is this horror an... violence. This is a movie exhibit. It's a movie store exhibit. It's a, where you sit in a big arena kind of and like watch it. Well, film. it's just like if you were going to a movie theater. Yeah. It's just like an exhibit. It's an exhibit, like, it's a movie theater it's a movie exhibit. Theater. Wow. It's a movie theater. Well, it's like there's a Zoomies exhibit, there's a movie theater exhibit. There's, there's an AMC, there is an AMC exhibit. Yorktown there's 18. No, it's an art, it's an art piece, it's an exhibit. It's a yeah. movie theater. Exhibit, yes. yes. Go on. I get it. <laughs> I was thinking of an FYE. Oh, a for your entertainment? Sure, yeah. sure. They definitely have demos of Call of Duty 4 in the FYE. Okay. I was thinking of a disc replay where you can find older exhibit. movies. Um, okay. This replay exhibit. Can I rebut? Yeah. Can I rebut you? Are you ready for this video? You don't need to ask. But to re-enter? Okay. <laughs> it's the fact that what you're describing <laughs> absolutely exists, and it's called a mall. And the last mall in my hometown... Are you saying mall? Are you saying mall No, like I'm mouth? not saying mall. mall. Like the mouth... I am so, not. So yeah, we like all know that no! exists. Like I, the maw of Hurricane Doreen. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Hurricane Doreen swept through the nation last week. Yeah. No. The I maw? Am... The maw of it was its mouth and was yeah. its eye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm not talking about a maw. I'm talking okay. about a maw. I think Two Anna L's. is a little confused. I'm having a hard time understanding. It's kind of embarrassing for us. I'm talking about... Can you tell me I'm more about, about the violence? Can you tell me more about the violence no, museum? No, I'm talking about this? Madison Square Mall in Madison, Alabama. No, you think Madison Square Mall? Garden. Okay, you're yeah. thinking Madison Square Garden. Garden. Simple, <laughs> simple, simple, and very, very easy to confuse the two. Yeah. So, Madison Square Garden, for is those of you who don't know, is a no, let me finish. Do not interrupt uh, okay. me. Madison Square Garden is a sporting arena, and that is sort of a, a mall to sports. It's not only a sporting or, arena. Excuse me. It's sort of a museum to sports. Yeah, I can understand that. There's, There's exhibits. exhibits. You watch the, the exhibits, like the Knicks play the, the Lakers. Lakers. The can Lakers. I speak? Yeah. The Lakers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, no, I'm not talking about Madison Square Gardens. I'm talking about Madison Square Mall. 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 I can't. You're mispronouncing. Walk, it's a southern Okay, state. can you say. Can you turn a light on so I can watch her tongue in her mouth? And uh, a double uh, hockey stick? Okay. Mall. I, I say, how do y'all? Y'all. Y'all. Just put an M at the front. Ma. <laughs> okay, I see what you're trying to. I see where you're coming from, but you're you're at this point. I think you're confused and a little embarrassing. So why don't you stick to your? Um, why don't you stick to your? Um, have you guys been downtown to Water Tower? Yeah, yeah. Water Tower Place, sure. It's yeah, cool. Water Tower. They have place a lot small. of stores in that, that building. Yeah, in that building, there's a lot of stores. I don't it's, think it's called Water. Uh, it's called Water Tower Place Mall. Do you want to look it up? I worked there too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say damn it, because that's true. Wait, where'd you work in Water Tower Place? In Fossil. Damn it, you worked in Fossil at Water Tower Place Mall. Fossil? <laughs> I just can't really. I have a really hard so, time tonight. I think Anna's really trying to make a point, but honestly, I don't know if we're going to get there. So okay, on. okay. No, no. Y'all have teamed up to be buffoons against me. Water Tower Place Mall... Madison Square Mall, Parkway Place Mall, another mall in my hometown. You're just naming spots on Monopoly. These are buildings. I think I know what you're just trying to describe. It's a kind of giant complex sure. within which there are multiple stores that sell so a variety of things. So all you're describing is like a strip mall. So <laughs> you boys have definitely heard of a strip mall. Yeah. Uh, and I just want to say that's all you're describing. Okay, so what The you're- Museum of Violence is is unprecedented, okay? It is harnessing the energy of the streets, the energy of both of your black, black souls, okay? Into something to be analyzed and experienced Mm -hmm. by the masses, by those who also have black, black souls, by those who also maybe have, what is this soul? Who don't want to have black, black heart, okay? Mm -hmm. Those who have no malintent. So all I had to say is, in terms of like novel contributions to Chicago and society mm-hmm. and museum campus, which is the proposed debate, mm-hmm. the Violence Museum, I'm sorry, is, is leaps and bounds ahead of the mall that you're describing. It's a store museum. And um, <laughs> if I can rebut, yeah. so I like to think of myself as a guide to yeah. our audience, a shepherd of sorts. Um, and I, I guide our audience. And when... When there is sort of a deviation, when there is sort of a distraction in that characterization of, oh, a store museum already exists in the form of a mall. 
Thank um, you for acknowledging what a mall is. Uh, well, I just think that you're way off. I just think that you're off base. And think of what you're describing and try your hardest to separate it from what I am. Because what I'm describing, well, let me start with this. What do malls always have? Mm-hmm. Parking lot. Yeah. And what this store museum does not have. Is any parking, uh, like no, any of those museums. No yeah, that's fair. And what makes a museum a museum? It's an it's a collection of exhibits with no parking lot. And so <laughs> my point stands. <laughs> it's not wrong. And that is my the statistic. And that is my statistic. All right. I'm so glad that's your statistic. Okay. Um, <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, very interesting. Very interesting. You've actually said... Nothing against the violence museum. I already I said that we already have that, and that in my store museum there would be a, there would be a, a movie exhibit. A yeah, movie theater. Unless exhibit. this is Disney World, where you can have like the 4D movie experience, you're not gonna feel the splatter of blood or know what it's like to ram a knife into a Jello bag, which you could do at the violence museum. Ooh, that that intrigues me. I am talking about a very textile experience at okay. the Violence Museum. Okay. okay, unpack that. Honestly, it could be helpful for dealing. I mean, honestly, in our political climate, uh, not a lot of great, well, actually, some pretty good ideas have been proposed, but to those where it matters the most, not a lot of great ideas about what to do with the violence problem have been proposed. Yeah. We so need a, I'm we just a, putting out there that maybe a violence museum, if we, you could ram a, a, a machete into a jello bag, it might kind of like alleviate... We need an outlet. We need an outlet. Yeah, my, yeah. I don't know. I, I don't know. Max throwing might not be enough of an outlet these days. Yeah. So I'm just saying like the violence museum is just, I don't know. I don't know. Okay. So it sounds like you have some serious deep-seated homicidal urges that you need to, you need <laughs> to take out. But beyond I that... I really don't. I'm pretty chill. I clean my apartment today and walk the dog. Have you ever been to a uh, grocery store? Yeah. Yeah, I went today. I went to Trader Joe's. I live okay. next to it. So, okay. So, you ever seen a packet of Jello? Uh, no, Jello comes in a box. And then you make it into gelatin. In the box, there's a packet. It puts the packet on its skin. You put the packet in the hot water, you boil, you make Jello at home. Yeah. And where did you have to go to get that? The, the store. The grocery the store. store museum. There might be a store that sells foods, especially confectionaries, maybe a candy store. I. I doubt that you can find one mall in America, I'm just maybe saying. Mall of America, <laughs> that is going to sell you a box of Jello. Okay, that is a complete. That is a. That is a building with a theme park in it. I like to think of the Violence Museum as somewhere you come into, and you're not only being aggressive, but you're also being defensive. And you're also thinking critically about why am I violent? What are these urges? And you leave, maybe you've put out some violence, but it's it's harmless. You can't hurt anything or anyone in the violence museum. Uh, and again, this is Chicago. And you leave, actually, it's cathartic. Mm-hmm. Kind of like Pilates. Okay, yeah. so here's one thing. On Black Friday, you can hurt people in the store museum. That's legal. It's legal and it's encouraged. Uh-huh. And so there's actually more <laughs> real violence to be had. Yeah. And okay, I okay. I'm not condoning real violence. Yeah. No. Do you have a statistic though? You haven't shared that yet. I'm excited to hear it. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. And the well, okay. Chicago, Illinois, where we were talking about erecting a new museum. Chicago, Illinois, is 100 percent violent. Mm-hmm. What does that mean? It's 100 percent violent. I, the people, the buildings, <laughs> the pigeons. <laughs> Wouldn't you like to know? Come to the Violence Museum and find out. So all I'm saying, all I'm saying is is that the city of Chicago is 100% violent. So if we're looking at truly understanding the city of Chicago, we need the Violence Museum where you can kind of learn more about what does that, what the hell does that mean? The Chicago is 100% violent. <laughs> the purple learn. line, the yellow line, they're violent. Would love to learn. Yeah. Learn. Yeah. The brown line. Big, big worm living in the city. <laughs> Very violent at its core. Big okay? Worm. That big wormy he's a, ultra. He's a big worm just taking his time. The brown line. Gosh, if you're in a hurry, just don't take the brown line. Very violent and slow. <laughs> okay. So, with that to say, Chicago's 100% violent. Great, 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 great. I get it. Can I get some closing statements from you? Give me one okay. closing statement. My closing statement. What's the, what's the best part of any museum? Mm. The gift shop. Mm. Yeah, I in agree. my no, because that's why mom museum, says we can't get that. In the store museum, the whole thing is the gift shop. 
and sometimes there are sales. So your mom says, okay, you probably need that for school. (laughs) And you've been given $50 budget to buy things at the store museum. So... Yeah, Wait, hold on. You're saying at the store museum, my mom says I might need it for school. I'm saying when I get at the gift shop, perhaps my mom you say, go yeah. to the store museum. And I also want to say, you know, you, you Anna were exploring. Sort Can of I the... just interject? Yes. <laughs> All I know is that whenever I went to a mall as a kid, my mom wouldn't let me shop at Abercrombie because she would say that the models were too sexy. In Abercrombie, not Abercrombie and Fitch. Abercrombie was the kids' version of Abercrombie and Fitch. Um, I. Uh, the sexy kid. Was the are you saying Fitch. that kids are sexy? No, it was the and Fitch, whatever the sexy one is. <laughs> okay, so well, it seems like you think kids are sexy. And <laughs> let, let me just say, let me just say this: you in your violence museum may be exploring why are we violent, but the the at the end of the day, the store museum is exploring. First of all, why are we consumeristic? And secondly, why do I have all this money in my pocket and it's not in the cash register of, of that? Uh, one of Anne's. those two statements describes me, but not both. <laughs> it's the Auntie Anne's one. It's the, <laughs> yeah. It's not the why do I have all this cash in my pocket. It's the why am I a consumer? Mm. Mm. And doesn't that make you think? And wouldn't you think more about that at and the that store museum? And that makes me violent. <laughs> all right, my closing, closing statement. statement. Yeah. Um, my closing statement is that... Um, before we were consumers, we were violent. Mm. Before we had the opportunity to purchase, we were killing our brothers in jealousy. Yeah. Because God didn't like the first fruit of our offering. Mm-hmm. Right? Yep. Okay. So all that to say is... Epic fail. Yeah. <laughs> honestly, Cain, epic fail. It was so, evil. Well, yeah, Cain failed. Well, yeah. they both could have done a lot better. <laughs> Can we debate that sometime? Like who who failed? More? Who honestly is to blame? Yeah, who <laughs> let himself get Abel? killed? Yeah, Abel. like that's the first death. Like, don't you don't want to be the first one? You don't want to be the first Fight one. Fight back, you dumb. Gosh, honestly, loser. Honestly, at the yeah. Violence Museum, we would re- we would explore those things. Great, 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 great. So I think I have enough of, to decide my answer. <laughs> I'm, I'm afraid did not. of that. <laughs> Nick did not. Hannah did not make a closing statement at all. She went off on a tangent. All right, about Nick, it. end this misery. <laughs> I feel like I need to end this violently. Um, and you know, the thing that really swayed me is just the sheer. Um, just description of exhibits. Like, I have a better idea of what I'm going to experience at the store museum. Than <laughs> I'm at, flexing right I now. I know. At the Violets Museum, Anna, you have this whole, like, metaphysical experience that I'm sure to learn from. But, like, you didn't... You can dodge bullets. You can you can do the samurai You should have said that before I decided my answer. I I'm gave standing you, here flexing gave my muscles. opportunities. And he's flexing. flexing huh? I'd go to the store museum in a heartbeat. You know why? I want to see every KB Toys that's ever been in America laid out on a timeline yeah, and, for me. And KB Books or whatever their offshoot was the bookstore. Yeah. And L.L. Bean and J. Crew. Yeah. There's no L.L. Bean outlet. There's an, uh, First of all, this is a store museum. It can be whatever the hell the exe- exhibitioners want it to be. All right. All right. And I think we need a There's nothing more. There's not a lot of, like... Great places to shop around there. So, and and I don't want to I don't want to sound condescending in it, but you did your best. You know, you that's were... very condescending. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing more violent than consumerism. Just look at the oh, world. Well, maybe that's a better violent museum then. Yeah, there you go. Damn well, it. at any rate, <laughs> Ian wins. <laughs> Cause. Thank you, thank All you very right. much. Yeah. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for talking about the news, guys. Thanks for hanging out with me for giving me something to do on a Monday. But seriously, guys, I. I implore you to, to write in, call in, yeah, maybe call talk me. to your older call. man. No, no. Call. I'm still having a hard time seeing what you're saying. I call. implore you to contact your alderman if you're really interested in the Bronx Museum. Okay. Let her finish. You're the only Sorry. one having that issue, Nicholas. At this point, I get it. I know what you're trying to do. Thanks. And I want to hear your point. Call your alderman if you're actually really interested in a violence museum. Mm-hmm. I'm just saying. Yeah, and I, I would say... You call your alderman with anything you need. If you're if you're if you can't sleep, you got a pothole. If you got a if you pot, need a pizza, if you need a pizza, or if if you feel like maybe the raccoons on your storm drain are not going away when you ask them to. Yeah, call your alderman for that. They'll really call, appreciate their constituents. My the alderman is. I live in the first ward, which is the best ward. And you live in the first. Yeah, for whatever reason, Humboldt Park is the first ward. Cool. Sure. Tell our viewers your address. Okay, I live at. <laughs> um, 
Masters of Debate is performed and created by Anna, Nick, and Ian. Our handle on Instagram is at Masters of Debate, and you could email us at Masters of Debate Podcast at gmail.com. Our logo is created by